amigos, ¿cómo están? Aquí estamos en una edición más de Auto 060. Tenemos un show especial para ustedes. Vamos a tener eh, mucha información sobre reportes muy interesantes. Eh, vamos a hablar sobre los productos de Ford, como la F-150, la pickup truck de la Ford. Se mantiene durante tanto tiempo en el número uno de las ventas acá en Estados Unidos y cómo el mercado hispano también está ayudando en ese sentido. Vamos a hablar eh, también eh, con dos eh, colegas de la, del sitio Wards eh, Autos. Eh, nos van a hablar sobre dos reportes muy interesantes. Uno, que tiene que ver con cosas que hablamos aquí en el show durante mucho tiempo, es eh, de cómo hay que hacer la tarea a través de Internet y, cómo, y cuáles son los 100 dealers más uh, efectivos en el país que están teniendo, utilizando la tecnología de Internet para acercarse a los consumidores. También vamos a hablar sobre el reporte de los 10 mejores interiores, pero no, no es ropa interior, Cafa, no te emociones, es sobre los 10 interiores de los autos, el reporte de la Wards, hay algunas sorpresas, este reporte dominado por las marcas japonesas, y finalmente vamos a hablar con eh, un representante de la Fiat sobre el lanzamiento que fuimos la semana pasada del Fiat eh, 500 eléctrico y el Fiat 500 Abarth. También hoy vamos a darle las claves para que los que estén participando en eh, nuestro concurso a través de Facebook, les vamos a regalar este radio de Sirius XM Radio portátil para que puedan escuchar no solo en el auto, sino en cualquier otro lugar. Así que las claves eh, están integradas en el show del, de la semana pasada, donde estuvimos en el Hispanic Size de Miami Beach eh, con la gente de Radio, de Radio Shack, así que estén atentos a eso. Y ahora vamos a cambiar a. Now we're going to switch back to, Eng uh, to English because we have Eric from Ford. Um, Eric, how are you? Eric Peterson, right? Eric, can you hear me? You're just fine, thank you. Hi, Eric Peterson. He's a manager for a marketing for the F 150, and we were talking in the introduction about how the F 150 has been uh, in the number one uh, sales. Uh, charts for how long eric like pretty, pretty 36 much? years thank you very much <laughs> wow, that, that's amazing how, how, i mean i know how it happens but can you explain to our audience how, how you've been doing this because sometimes uh, when you are in the number one position at anything obviously everybody's looking at you but it's very hard to maintain that post It's, it's very difficult, and it's something that we're, we're certainly very happy about it, but something that we don't take for granted by any stretch of the imagination. So we're, you know, I think the, maybe the simplest way to look at it is we, we really start with the customer first and foremost, and we've got a, a dedicated group of engineers and, and, and marketing people and, and dealerships that um, think all the time about how can they make, you know, the next F-150, the next Super Duty, you know, the best truck possible and, and keep continuing to provide innovations in, in, in different things, more, you know, more horsepower, more towing, more capability, better fuel economy, smarter design, and, and it's really, it's a combination of, of, of all those things, but really at the core of it, it's, it's listening to the customer and, um, and, and providing them the type of truck and the type of capability that they need to get their job done, and it's different for everybody, but it's all kind of rooted on that, um, that same sense of what's important to the customer. Yeah, uh, this segment has been uh, getting much more tougher. I mean, there's a lot of competition from uh, not only from the other two American manufacturers, uh, General Motors and, um, and Ram especially, but also from the Japanese um, manufacturers, right? Sure, absolutely. I mean, the, the competition sees this as, you know, it's, a, it's, it's such a large segment. It's about 10% of the industry. And so and when you've got something that's that, that, that that is that big it's something that people really want to take you know take the opportunity to to make sure their products are there and so um yeah it, absolutely the competition doesn't rest and they keep getting better and they keep providing um you know different solutions and what we try and do is is stay as much in front of it as possible and um let the customers decide what the what the what the, what the, what the best combination of, of value is for them and what the right tool is to get their job done and um i think it's you know the, uh, there's nothing that quite that quite validates that, like uh, like being able to be the uh, the leader for as long as we have. But again, it's something that we're we're very proud of, but we also don't take very lightly either. Yeah, exactly. And um, I, I think uh, not because I'm talking to you, but it's a fact. I mean, uh, the Ford 150 has one version that is like so amazing, the Raptor. I mean, and people love that car, uh, <laughs> that, that truck. And it's not only for work. I mean, that's for fun. I was at the proving grounds in Detroit. Uh, Uh, in Dearborn, uh, I think it was last year, and uh, there was a professional driver that drove us in an off-road 
uh, cars and we were like flying literally on the on the truck. That's an amazing vehicle. Yeah, that's a, it's it's a it's a great truck. I mean, it's been one of the things that's you know continued innovation. You know, where we continue to try and you know bring out new products and, and new things. And Raptor's been just a, a smash success for us. Uh, you said, like you said, it's it's a it's a fun truck, but also it's it's very purposeful as well. In fact, we just had some discussions. That, you know, San, this I think it's the city of San Diego or San Diego County uses it as a as a as something to get their job done out on out on you know beach rescue or um, or if they're trying to get into you know parks and things like that. It's it's the smartest tool for them to get from point A to point B, you know, across a wide variety of terrain. So you know, it's one of those. Um, Smart tools, smart solutions. Uh, in addition to, at times, if you're if, if you're if you're out there for, for pleasure purposes or racing something in the desert, it's quite a bit of fun as well. Yeah, um, and so we t we're right now in the middle of uh, 2013, but the years the year model thing is crazy now. Like, where are we? You already have the 2014 on sale, or where are we in that in that sense? So we, we, have, have, we have our we have our 2013 on sale. That's the vehicle that we have, and I know there's some other. Uh, you know, like, when you get into the 13 calendar year is when model <laughs> years start to roll and change. Yeah, and so we're kind of into that right now from a from a from a manufacturer perspective. But no, we're still selling the the, the 2013 um, vehicle, and um, it's it's been again, it's a, the model year's been a success for us. And uh, you know, we're we're looking to to 14 with some you know potential new things and um, and beyond. So every year we try and provide a little something that makes the vehicle better and, and a little bit different and. Um, uh, Continue on that path. Yeah, for this year the big thing was the V6 engine against the V8 uh, with the EcoBoost thing, right? Uh, that has been like really, really successful. Yeah, the Eco the EcoBoost engine, you know, across the Ford Motor Company has been a big success, but I don't think anywhere really um, is, is as on target as it is for for trucks. I mean, you're able to get more horsepower, more torque, and then you're also able to do it with with great fuel economy up to 22 miles per gallon, so you're getting 420 foot pounds of torque, you tow well over 11,000 pounds. So you've got the, it's the right solution for trucks. And it's why it's been such a big success for us um, since we launched it a few years back. And it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's the right tool. It's a smarter way to get um, the right amount of capability or maximum amount of capability, but do it in a, you know, a way that uh, conserves on gas. Because if you're, if you're running a business or you're running a household, you need to make sure that you're doing it in the most efficient manner possible. So you want to be able to get the job done but uh, do it with as little, little gas as possible, and that's what makes the EcoBoost such a yeah, success. Yeah, and then the, the fuel still is one of the number one uh, concern or, or, or uh, thing that people think about when they're like, looking for a new car. Um, uh, you, we were saying that the F-150 has been in the number one uh, position for 36 years, but uh, uh, the Hispanic market has been growing lately for, uh, for this vehicle too, right? Right, it, continu it continues to grow. Uh, our, our, our sales are, are over about 24,000, and we're up year over year. So we have continue to have good sales success in the Hispanic market, which is you know all markets are important, and uh, but this is a very you know a very important market for us as well. Makes up about just over six percent of our F-150 or F-series sales, I should say. Yeah, that's a big percentage of the sales when you really start to think about it, uh, and so it's very important for us to make sure that you know we're we're, we're connecting as much as possible. Yeah, in that sense, uh, I would say what was the number one uh, market in the in the U.S. for the, this car? I would say Texas, no. Well, actually, like if we look at it, like on a Texas is the number one market. In fact, basically 20% of the trucks, the pickup trucks that are sold are from Texas. So it's a big, it's a big market, one in five. And for us in particular, Houston's one of our one of our biggest markets, along with Dallas. And you can start to look at it, you know. Go, continue to go down from a Hispanic consumer. We're, we're the number one truck in the Houston area and, and in the Dallas area. Those are some of our, our more prominent markets for for trucks in general, and uh, certainly for all customers, including you know Hispanics as well. Well, thank you very much, Eric Peterson, a general manager for marketing for the F-150 here in the U.S. Thank you for uh, sharing all this great information with us here at Auto 060, and I uh, hope to see you soon, um, probably doing another test drive with a Raptor somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to do that together because there's nothing I like better than a test drive in a Raptor, so we'll let's make sure of that, okay? Thank you very much, and also thank you to Alvaro Cabal, who, uh, from the PR uh, communication uh, team from Ford, uh, helping us uh, setting up this interview. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Have a great day.
Pues ahí tienen información sobre la F-150, el auto que ha estado en el número uno de ventas en Estados Unidos durante 36 años, mucho antes de que CAFA naciera, yo creo. Es un auto que está... Eh, Está siempre en el número uno eh, en, en volumen y en, en innovación. Ahora la F-150 con el motor V6 EcoBoost está teniendo unos grandes resultados para las ventas y como decía Eric, tiene una gran eh, eficiencia en el consumo de gasolina sin quitarle ninguna de las características típica, típicas de una camioneta pico para el trabajo que es eh, principalmente para lo que se utiliza ese auto. Hablamos ahí un poco también de la F-150, de la versión de la Raptor, que es una versión modificada con gran potencia, esa sí no tiene, tiene el motor más grande, y el año pasado, como lo mencioné ahí, estuvimos en los uh, Proving Grounds, en, la, en los campos de prueba, en las pistas de pruebas de la Ford allá en Dearborn, en, en Detroit, cerca de Detroit, para probarla, y fue realmente una gran experiencia. Así que, bueno, esa fue la información que tuvimos esta semana sobre la F-150. No se vayan, que cuando regresemos vamos a tener, como decía, dos importantes reportes sobre Words Auto, sobre cómo los dealerships están utilizando la Internet para acercarse a ustedes los consumidores y también sobre los 10 mejores interiores de los modelos 2013. Y como les dije, vamos a estar regalando esta semana el eh, equipo de Sirius XM Radio portátil para que lo puedan escuchar, estén muy atentos. La semana pasada dimos ya las claves y lo que tienen que responder es simplemente... ¿Qué fue la, ¿Quién fue la compañía que nos dio este equipo de radio para que ustedes lo puedan disfrutar en casa? También que nos digan dónde se realizó la conferencia Hispanicize acá en... Oh, ya se le iba a decir la respuesta acá, la Hispanicize 2013 y también a qué canal se va a mudar Cristina Radio a partir del 9 de mayo. Así que no se vayan que ya regresamos aquí en Auto 060. Ay, me olvidaba, también vamos a tener el, el, la entrevista sobre los dos modelos Fiat que fuimos a manejar la semana pasada a California, el nuevo Fiat eléctrico y el nuevo Fiat Abarth convertible, dos modelos y vamos a hablar de una cosa un poco curiosa porque... Eh, Tim Kuskinis, que, Kuniskis, perdón, que fue el ejecutivo a quien entrevistamos para allá, ya no está en la FIAD, así que también les vamos a dar todas las noticias de lo que pasó. Esta semana ha sido como los equipos de fútbol, ha habido cambios, fichajes, eh, ejecutivos pasando de la Ram a la Nissan y este mismo de la FIAD a la Dodge. Así que no se vayan, que cuando regresemos vamos a tener esto y mucho más aquí en Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota y recuerden visitarnos en facebook.com slash auto 060. 